Hi guys, it's Tina once again. Welcome back to my channel where I talk everything about teaching and living in Vietnam. I hope that you're having an amazing day. If you're moving to Vietnam in Ho Chi Minh City in particular, then you might want to consider getting your own motorbike to get around the city easily. There are several modes of transportation available for you, but if you want a hassle-free daily commute to go to work, go to school for example, or run errands, then I highly suggest that you get your own motorbike. Today, I'm going to share with you how I applied and got myself a motorbike driver's license. Please do subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to get notified of new uploads. Now, let's start the video. Do you need to have a license? A lot of foreigners I know ride a motorbike around the city without a license. I did that for some time too, which sure, technically, you can ride a motorbike in Vietnam without a license, albeit legally. So you're always worried about being pulled over and being fined five times or more being a foreigner and if you're caught without one. And most importantly, if you get into an accident, knock on wood, and you ride a standard motorbike, that's 125cc or more, then your insurance coverage will only kick in if you have a license. If you don't have a license, then your insurance provider cannot help you. Can you convert your driver's license from your home country to a Vietnamese driver's license? Yes but you'll only be able to convert it into a Vietnamese driver's license with the same restrictions that your license from back home has. What that means is, if your license from back home restricts you for car use, then you can convert that into a Vietnamese driver's license for car use as well, not for motorbike use. But if your driver's license back home is good for both car and motorbike use, then you can convert that for car and motorbike use in Vietnam as well. Requirements If you don't have a driver's license or your driver's license back home restricts you for car use, but you'd like to use a motorbike as your daily transport in Vietnam, then that means that you need to apply for a motorbike driver's license from scratch. You're gonna need a copy of your passport, visa or temporary resident card, six 3x4 photos of yourself with a blue background, and a completed application form. First is the theory test. This is done using a computer. It's a multiple choice type of test you're choosing between A or B. The caveat there is the instructions and the test items are all in Vietnamese. Oh no! Which to a foreign test taker is absolutely terrifying. There is no theory test in English. So how did I pass? I'll talk about that later. Once you pass a theory test, then you can take the practical test on the same day. You'll have to wait for your turn to do a series of road tests. Here's a tip. You can go to the testing center early so that you can have a go and practice as many times as you want. Usually, you're gonna find that there's already a queue of test takers who are also wanting to practice before their actual driving test. Practicing makes it so much easier to pass the test. You are only going to have three attempts to successfully finish the course. And I cannot highly recommend it enough that practicing is the key here because you're not going to be using your own motorbike but the testing center's motorbike. So you might already be riding your motorbike in Saigon pretty well for a few years and would think that this should be easy. It should be, but just consider that you need to get used to the testing center's motorbike. I got a different make from my own and the brake lever was on the left, not on the right throttle, so it was a huge adjustment for me. What's the road test like? It's one course with four challenges. There's the dreaded figure eight, the narrow straight lane, the turning lane, and the bumpy road. Why don't I just show you? Oh, 
My strategy was to go slow. I also zoned out all the noise because there were so many test takers waiting for their turn and sometimes the officials would announce something in Vietnamese on their megaphones so I zoned them all out and just really focused and made sure that the motorbike tires won't touch the white paint because they say that there are sensors on them. I didn't see the sensors. I was just really dead focused on completing the task. Also, you need to make sure that you go through the figure eight correctly. Otherwise, you'll be made to repeat it. You can go slowly and it's also okay to use your brakes to slow down the bike and use a pace that suits you. After you go past the figure eight, the rest are pretty easy. Just make sure that the bike is in the lane when you go through the narrow lane or the windy one. And with the bumpy road, just go slowly. Don't rush it. Now, earlier I said that the theory test was purely in Vietnamese and you might be wondering how I passed that. I got the services of an agent. They were referred to me by a friend. As a foreigner, I just felt that I needed to have an agent because number one, I have zero knowledge of the application process and number two, I just felt more confident that I'd pass the test if I have a Vietnamese agent helping me. They guaranteed a 100% passing rate for foreigners and so I was sold. I paid them $70 for their services on top of the $80 for the motorbike license application fee. So all in all, $150. Now, what kind of agent support did I get? I got a brief but quite intense Vietnamese language speaking practice. I memorized my name, my age, my job, where I'm from, basically all the personal information I put in the application form. And the agent practiced with me in a role play because she said that I'm going to be asked by the officials. And so I practiced and tried to remember everything, but my mind just doesn't work if I cram everything a day before the actual test. And I was thinking, even if I know what to say, it still might not work because I won't understand the questions. They might be asking me about my job and I'm going to say I'm a female. But I still went on with it and practiced and just hoped that I'm not going to be asked any questions. With the theory test, the agent briefed me that it was going to be a multiple choice type of test and they gave me like a practice answer key wherein I would choose A, then B, then C, then A, and B, and C. To this day, I don't know the rationale behind this but I was in their mercy and I just followed what I was told. I got the surprise of my life when I got to the testing center and I found out that there were only two options, A or B. So I was sitting there, in front of me was the computer. And I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna choose A then B, then A, then B. Luckily, I passed. I don't know how, but I'm very, very happy. The officer who called my name after the theory test just smiled nicely when I greeted him, Xin Chao, and I told him my name in Vietnamese. He was nice enough not to ask me any questions, so yay. In hindsight, I think they already knew that I don't know anything else other than the ones that I memorized. I would say yes, because although the whole process was a bit hazy for me because I only knew half of what was going on, the agent was there with me all throughout, explained what I was going to do. I felt taken care of. I was picked up from my apartment, brought to a testing center, and brought back home after and the driver's license was delivered to me after two weeks. I didn't have to do any of the filing, I just had to fill out the application form, hand it over and give all the requirements to the agent and just 
be told what to do. I've heard of stories from other expats who were able to successfully do it on their own and there were those who also wished that they actually sought help. They could have avoided going back and forth different government offices, being told one thing and a different thing next, all that time, energy, money wasted, all that stress could have been avoided. Can you maybe do it without going through an agent? Maybe. If your Vietnamese is good enough, then sure. If you're thinking of also asking a very good Vietnamese friend to come with you, help you with the process, talk on your behalf, then maybe, yeah. I just didn't want to inconvenience anyone and I just really wanted to get it over with. And that is it you guys. That's everything that you need to know about getting a motorbike license in Vietnam. Nothing beats that feeling of being able to go anywhere, anytime you want and that exhilarating feeling of being on your bike and the wind whipping your hair. Anyway, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to get notified of new uploads. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.